Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 14th, 2016, and I'm bringing back the video of Planet Enoch. The two gentlemen that tried to debunk my video of this rogue planet did a pretty good job, not of debunking the video, but of lying to me and fooling me. So, I went back, researched it even more, and I filed this report. So listen up. Now, this is the original video. And a portion of this video was cut off, edited, and cropped. So I couldn't see the stereo behind Core 2 and the date. I couldn't see these things. And I, I was receiving some information from this individual. Great photographs uh, for over a month. And then this video with the story about this being an undiscovered, uh, undiscovered planet, but named by NASA, but nobody in the public knew about it. So we actually went with the story. You all read and saw my retraction video after I spoke with these two gentlemen um, that critiqued my video, basically said that I was fear-mongering people. Uh, that is the moon, Scott. It's not a planet, an undiscovered planet. It's the moon. Uh, you know, I kind of took it for face value and uh, I kind of respected them because they're two amateur astronomers and they have pretty decent YouTube channels. So I took it at face value. They gave me a presentation. We did a hangout video together. We were all gentlemen. But then I come to find out they lied to me. So... Now stop it right there. Let's take a look at the size of the sun, which is the white circle in the middle, the size of the planet, which is the black circle right here. Now let's compare the size of those two. Okay, that's pretty big. Pretty big. Let's take a look at something else here. Let's look at the moon's diameter. The moon's diameter is 2,159 miles in diameter. The sun is 864,575.9 miles. That's pretty big compared to the size of the moon. Well, let's get back to the video. Let's watch it orbit. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. Now, it took that planet seven days and 18 hours to orbit the sun. Now, the size of the sun compared to the size of that planet, that planet's obviously pretty big. Now, let's just keep on moving on here, folks. Let's take a look at Mercury. Now, Mercury is about 1,000 miles in diameter larger than our moon. So, let's take a look at Mercury, orbiting the, the 2016 sun. transit of Mercury, presented by Science at NASA. Solar scientists are accustomed to seeing spots on the sun, irregular islands of magnetism that sometimes erupt, producing strong solar flares. On May 9, 2016, they will see a spot of a very different kind, a dark circle moving across the solar disk. This spot is no ordinary sunspot. It's the planet Mercury, making a rare transit of the Sun. Mercury passes directly between the Sun and Earth about 13 times every century. The last time it happened was 10 years ago in 2006. I'm going to stop it right there because that's vital. We know it's not Mercury because that did not, that transit did not occur until 2006. The video I had was in 2007, a whole entire year later. So let's move on. And the next time will be November 11th, 2019. This year's transit will be widely visible for most of Earth, including the Americas, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, Europe, Africa, and much of Asia. In the USA, it begins on the morning of Monday, May 9th, around 7.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This means it begins before sunrise on the West Coast, but that's no problem. 
The transit lasts for more than seven hours, so Mercury will still be gliding across the solar disk when the sun comes up over places like California and Alaska. Air Folks, I'm going to stop it right there. Let's take a look at the size of the sun and the size of Mercury. I mean, that's a pretty big sun. That's a tiny little planet compared to the video that I showed you and that was in my original video. I'm going to stop it right there. Remember, the white circle is the sun. You can see the little planet right there. But it's not a little planet, folks. It's actually a very large planet. Now, when does the moon orbit the sun? The only time the moon orbits the sun is when the Earth makes its way around the sun. Now, let's take a look at this mathematically. The Earth is 93 million miles away from the Sun. The Moon is 239,000 miles away from Earth. So the distance between the Sun and the Moon and Earth is pretty big. So when does Earth get close enough to the Sun to allow its Moon to make its own orbit in a tight elliptical orbit around the Sun? So you can clearly see the two gentlemen, and I'm going to use that word very, very loosely, that told me that my video information was wrong, and I took their word for it, and I took the video down completely, but they were wrong, and they lied to me, because let's take a look at this animation. When does the moon ever come that close to orbit the sun. Now you can clearly see the moon orbits the earth. This, let's blow this up real quick so we can see this clearly. This is the moon orbiting the earth. This is the earth's orbit around the sun. When does the moon come close to making its own individual orbit around the sun mathematically it's impossible the orbits do not happen the way these two gentlemen told me and showed me with their own generated model that they made so what I'm trying to say is once again we are at the point of the video that I put out with the information that was emailed me, now we're back to stage one. We still do not know what that planet was that was orbiting the sun in 2007. And that, my dear folks, is a very large planet compared to the size of the sun. And I'm going to put this video back together using the original footage, and I'm going to put it back up on the Nibiru channel. And I want all of you to help me figure this out. Leave your comments, and you tell me what you think, because if you're a better mathematician than I am, and you probably are, you figure it out. I'm not going to take one word from these two Shylarks telling me that was the moon orbiting the sun all by itself in 2007 just doesn't make a damn bit of sense to me but i want to hear all of your com comments every single one of them i'd like to thank all of our nibiru watchers you guys do a fantastic job would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership you can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. 
And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.